Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, strategy design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, strategy design pattern introduction, strategy design pattern real time example and uh, strategy design pattern class diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Now we will see the scenario where we can use uh, strategy design pattern. So here you can see input array. Uh, the input array there are five values are there. Uh, so I want to sort the values in the input array. So what I can do is I can use uh, insertion sort algorithm or I can use uh, selection sort algorithm or I can use uh, bubble sort algorithm to sort the elements in the input array. right? Uh, so I have uh, three options. Uh, from these three options I have to choose one option uh, in order to perform the sort. right? Uh, insertion sort algorithm is uh, uh, faster than uh, selection sort algorithm and uh, selection sort algorithm is uh, faster than uh, bubble sort algorithm okay uh, so as per uh, strategy design pattern for the particular task there will be multiple uh, solutions will be there client has to choose one solution at runtime to perform the particular uh, task okay so here uh, to perform uh, sort uh, there are multiple options are there uh, so from that uh, I have to choose uh, uh, one algorithm to perform the uh, sorting, right? So this is the best example of uh, strategy design pattern. Okay. Uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which you have uh, just seen. Uh, in the top, you can see a sorting strategy. It is an interface and it has abstract method uh, sort. It will accept uh, the input array which you want to sort. Okay. And this interface is implemented by uh, three concrete classes bubble sort, insertion sort and selection sort and these three concrete classes provide implementation of uh, sort method okay and out of this uh, three sorting algorithm uh, insertion uh, sort is uh, faster than uh, selection sort and uh, bubble sort and selection sort algorithm is uh, faster than uh, bubble sort and slower than uh, insertion sort okay and bubble sort is uh, slower than uh, insertion sort and uh, selection sort uh, algorithm uh, left side you can uh, see uh, sort context and the client will choose one of the sorting algorithm and uh, set the sorting strategy in the uh, sort context by calling the set uh, sorting strategy method okay so once the sorting strategy is uh, defined uh, the client will call uh, sort method of uh, sort context to uh, sort the input array okay and I will open uh, Eclipse and I will show you the code so that you will understand uh, clearly. I have opened Eclipse. Uh, now we will see the code. Uh, here you can see the interface uh, sorting strategy and uh, it has subtract method uh, sort. And it accepts uh, input array as a string array and it returns uh, int array. Okay. So this input array uh, which you want to uh, sort. Okay. And uh, next one is uh, insertion uh, sort class. Uh, it implements uh, sorting strategy uh, uh, interface and provide implementation of uh, sort method. So here we are using uh, uh, insertion uh, sort algorithm to sort the input array. Okay. And the next one is uh, selection sort. Uh, it implements uh, sorting strategy interface and provide implementation of uh, sort method. And uh, uh, this class. Uh, use the uh, selection sort algorithm to sort the input array and uh, next one is uh, bubble sort uh, it implements uh, sorting strategy interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, sort method and uh, this bubble sort class uh, uses uh, bubble sort algorithm to sort the input array okay and uh, sort context uh, so here uh, user has to choose one of the sorting strategy and uh, set the starting strategy in the uh, context by calling this uh, set sorting strategy method. Uh, then uh, the client has to call the sort method to sort the input array. Okay. And uh, next class is uh, strategy client. So here what I am doing is I am getting input from uh, user. Uh, whether he wants to sort the input array using uh, bubble sort or selection sort or insertion sort. Once it is uh, decided, uh, I am setting the strategy in the context. Um, you can see here, if it is uh, 
bubble sort i am setting bubble sort uh, strategy in the context if it is um, uh, selection sort uh, i am setting uh, selection sort uh, strategy in the context if user choose uh, uh, sorting algorithm as uh, insertion sort i am setting uh, insertion sort uh, strategy in the context then finally i am uh, sorting the input array by calling the context uh, sort method i will run this uh, client program and uh, i will show you the output so here it is asking uh, please enter the sort algorithm so what i will do is first i will uh, select bubble sort Uh, then it is asking uh, array size array size i will define 5 then it is asking the enter the input array so i will give 3 4 5 1 and 2 okay so you can see array is sorted using the bubble sort algorithm okay i will run one more time and i will choose another option insertion uh, sort it is asking array size i am giving 5 and i am entering the input array 5 4 3 1 2 so you can see array is sorted using the uh, insertion uh, sort algorithm you can see the ascending order uh, uh, information and this is the best example of uh, strategy design pattern I hope you understand uh, strategy design pattern uh, implementation very clearly and I have put together uh, all this sample code in my blog called uh, Ramjati. You can just uh, visit this uh, site and you can get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, strategy design pattern implementation. Thanks for watching. Bye.